Hey guys, welcome back to Vio Essentials. Today, breaking news as Apple is looking to cut the number of VR headsets it is forecasting to produce in the first year of its release. Let's go to the article and find out what it's all about. So here we have Bloomberg article, by the way, guys. Apple cuts Vision Pro goals after production issues. The Financial Times says manufacturers are struggling with the gadget's complex design. Apple is now preparing to make fewer than 400,000 units. Now, guys, if you didn't know this, they were supposed to, at first at the beginning, before the release of Apple Vision Pro, it was actually supposed to be about 300,000 units or 500,000 units. But then they came out and they said, we'll do a million units. I don't know, guys. I mean, they weren't anticipating that many sales anyway. For those who are in the industry who have been following the progress of the Vision Pro it is today, but it, we didn't know the name, but it was before it was launched, of course, know that they weren't anticipating that many sales anyway. It was supposed to sell about, I think it was one a day or something like that. So, you know, as far as we're concerned, this is not really news, but it's great to have them in the news, however, as they compete to be the masters of VR and dethroning, of course, Meta. But let's go back to the article and see what it all means as well. So this is by Natalie Chingman Choi. Apple Inc. is slashing production targets of its Apple Vision Pro because manufacturers are struggling with the novel gadget's complex design, the Financial Times reported. Now, also, by the way, apparently why the price is so high is because how they have to put the parts inside are very costly and the labor is very intensive because the screen is not straight it's actually curved so apparently this also created some issues in terms of the actual production and i guess this is what it's leading to to this article all right let's go back inside of it so Apple is now preparing to make fewer than 400,000 units, which I mentioned was supposed to be the original number anyway. Headset in 2024, it said, citing unidentified people close to Apple and Luxshare Precision Industry Co., the Chinese firm that's initially assembling the device. Two China-based suppliers of components said Apple was only asking for enough parts for 130,000 to 150,000 units in the first year, while plans for a cheaper version have been pushed back, the newspaper reported. Wow, so the cheaper one was supposed to come out in 2025, if I'm not wrong, or 2026. So if it's been pushed back, that means it might come out in 2027. 2028. I'm not quite sure, guys, when it's supposed to come out. So hopefully it won't delay things too much. Luxshare stock paired earlier gains, but was still up about 3.8%. Monday afternoon in Shenzhen, Apple shares with little change in pre-market trading before New York Exchange opened on Monday. Now, guys, by the way, we also know that Apple shares are at its all-time high right now. They are worth a three staggering three trillion dollars. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy in market cap, guys. Three million dollars here, as you can see. So do be careful, not financial advice, but do be careful as investors continue to power into big tech firms. Now, the other thing that we know, of course, is Apple is looking to move its manufacturing process from China, outside of China, to where? India, of course. So you know, this is potentially going to rattle things as well in the future as it means potential. I mean, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but perhaps they have to train the new workers. They have to make sure the factory is all up and running and properly and all these kind of things. So these are the kind of things that also could potentially delay not just the iPhone, not just, you know, the Mac Pro and all the other Mac things that they do, but potentially also the Vision Pro and the Vision Pro plus or visual pro 2 or whatever it might be called for the cheaper version as well what do you guys think what do you think it means are you excited if there are delays are you happy there are delays are you not happy there are delays are you really anticipating and you really want to go and buy this headset leave a comment below and remember to smash the likes guys to let me know that you like these time sensitive videos of course and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified of these time sensitive videos and also the amas ask anything to people like the creator of Walkabout Minigolf, who we just interviewed, and we're going to interview a lot of other people as well. 
for example, the CEO and founder of Somnium Space and also Cybershoes, who we also interviewed on the channel. So do go and check out those videos after this video. All right, let's go back to the article very quickly. Let me go down, see if there's any other nuggets we can see. The Vision Pro unveiled last month is its latest move to sustain sales momentum and try to propel a mixed reality industry that for years has struggled to make it into the mainstream. Now, guys, I just want to say, it hasn't been struggling. No, no, it has not been struggling. Meta, PlayStation, they have sold hundreds of thousands of units. HP Revo, tens of thousands of units. I don't think hundreds of thousands, but tens of thousands of units. Pico 4, tens of thousands of units. DBVRE4, the one over there in the middle. This one here, they're starting to sell a lot of units in the thousands, guys. Tens of thousands in China. This, this industry has not been struggling. It's just the bloody media who have been boom, 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 meta down to the floor, making everyone else think that this industry is dead. It is not dead. Hit the likes if it's not dead, guys, to support this industry. All right, let's go back inside of the article, which remembers high-tech ski goggles. Well, not really yet, to be honest. We'll have its own operating system, Vision OS, and a dedicated app store, of course. It's slated to arrive early next year, as we all know, guys. But their projections were originally 1 million units in the first 12 months, which, as I mentioned before, um, as far as I'm concerned, no, it was not. It was always going to be under 300,000, guys. Do your research. Go back. Go and Google Apple VR headset. Read articles in 2021, 2022, 2020. It was never supposed to be a million units. I'm very sorry. If I'm wrong, do comment below also by the way all right let me try to zoom it to uh, have a focus here a major hurdle is the creation of the high resolution inward displays while projecting the wearer's eyes to the outside world so that's what we basically talked about apple is also working on a more affordable version of the headset with korean display makers the paper said citing two people with direct knowledge an apple spokesperson didn't have a median comment while representatives for luxure didn't respond for a request to comment either so yeah so there you go guys that is the news they are cutting down officially the production they're not looking to sell more than 130,000 units so you know and are you going to go and buy the apple vision pro gold worth forty thousand dollars go and look at that video which we just posted on the youtube channel by the way so let me just go to our youtube channel there you go and do go and check out this video here that we just posted literally moments ago forty thousand dollars for the apple vision pro go and check it out and also breaking news about the apple vision pro using controllers the htc controllers guys to do some testing and whether the psvr headset can be tethered to a pc well Yes, it can. Does it work? You're just going to have to go and watch the video, the video 